Everybody enjoys action movies. They're easy to follow, and when added to a bit of humor, they are a certain way to lighten up one's evening. You made a promise to me that your daughter will be my wife. I'm not a piece of property to betray. The princess. Joey King is another rising star who has appeared in some terrific projects over the years. With the princess, King gets the chance to headline her own medieval adventure. It is also a twist on the classic damsel in distress storyline. King plays a princess who is forced to marry a cruel warrior and to be locked away in a tower, only to fight back and seek to save her family. I like a girl in lace. The movie looks like a fun, wild, and violent action adventure with a badass lead performance from King. Samaritan. 13 year old Sam Cleary suspects that his mysterious and reclusive neighbor, Mr. Smith, is actually a legend. Before the city implodes. I think we're finished here. Hiding in plain sight, 25 years ago, Granite City's superpower vigilante, Samaritan, was reported dead after a fiery warehouse battle with his rival, Nemesis. Most believed he perished in that fire, but some, like Sam, have hoped that he's still alive. I found him. Samaritan. Samaritan died 25 years ago. That's what they say. With crime now on the rise, Sam makes it his mission to coax Samaritan out of hiding to save the city from ruin. Really? Let's see who you are. I take off your disguise. And flick! Oh! You flick too hard, damn it! Thor, Love and Thunder. The first Thor film post Endgame, but the fourth film in the saga of Thor, Thor Love and Thunder continues the titular character storyline as he embarks on his journey of self discovery. Unfortunately, for the God of Thunder, his journey is put on pause when Gore the God Butcher threatens to annihilate the existence of all gods. The only ones who gods care about is themselves. So this is my vow. Oh God, will die. While the MCU has become well known for delivering epic sequences of action, Thor, Love and Thunder offered one hero fans have been waiting for since her announcement, Jane Foster as the mighty Thor. As the one and only Thor. Oh, spoke too soon. Jane? While similar to Hemsworth, her wielding of Mjolnir will have audiences in awe, and the final showdown with Gore is nothing short of a spectacle. Morbius. Dr. Michael Morbius, a biochemist, is struck with a rare blood disease, so he tries to cure himself and others suffering this fate. But the results are a bit horrifying. He gives himself some sort of vampirism with his cure gamble. Dr. Morbius is played by Jared Leto. I went from dying to being more alive than ever. It worked. Not exactly. I have increased strength and speed and some form of bat radar who has a hand in the Batman verse as the Joker. But now, he gets to play an anti-hero of sorts, a living vampire. Will Morbius drain our blood with this chilling yet thrilling movie about his journey? Morbius first appeared in the Amazing Spider-Man comic book back in 1971. There are limits, there has to be. There's something inside of me. He wants to hunt and consume blood. Michael. When you're hunting us. What's our plan? This is our home. This is our family. This is our fortress. This is where we make our stand. Avatar 2. It's wild to think that Avatar 2 and its three sequels have been in development for 12 years now. I need you with me. And I need you to be strong. 
And given the fact that the original is the highest grossing movie of all time, there's a lot of anticipation surrounding the film, with director James Cameron being both an absolute perfectionist and a pioneer of advanced technology in cinema. To protect the people. Let's get it done. It's no wonder why the sci-fi movie has taken so long to get made. The movie features underwater motion capture, which is surely another groundbreaking moment in cinema. The way of water connects all things. Before your birth. And after your death. Who is that? This is the man from Toronto. I'm so, wait, what? I'm the man from Toronto. And he's here to torture you. Within the buddy action movie genre, a lot of success depends on the pairing of the main actors. The man from Toronto offers an interesting duo at its center, with Kevin Hart and Woody Harrelson. Come on! Hola. I am the man from Toronto. Objection, no. I'm the man from Toronto. Oh, smoke! Ah! This is on you. Hey, yo, fuck, fuck! Hart plays a man who is mistaken for a world-class assassin. The mistaken identity plotline is nothing new and could feel tired, but the talents of these two stars suggest it could be a fun blend of action and comedy. Inspire me. But I don't want to be you anymore. One more time. Ow, you shot me in the ass! Your ass got in my way. Sonic the Hedgehog 2, directed by Jeff Fowler. Sonic the Hedgehog 2 sees Sonic determined to make his mark as a hero and decides to stay in Green Hills. No, my God. Oh, boy. Ah, uh, Hawaii. I just hope we are not too late. Oh, Lord, there are two of them. While Tom and Maddie go to Hawaii for her sister's wedding, when Dr. Eggman returns from the Mushroom Planet in search of Master Emerald to conquer the world, an exact revenge against Sonic with the help of Knuckles. It's cold in here. Let's turn up the heat. <laughs> Sonic and his new friend Miles, Tails, Prower, settle to find the emerald before it falls into the wrong hands. You forgot one. Unstoppable. Vampires. They're the most. And all they are is murderers. Day Shift. Day Shift is a vampire action comedy film directed by J.J. Perry in his directorial debut. Money. Day Shift follows Bud Jabalowski, a hardworking blue collar dad who just wants to provide a good life for his quick witted daughter, but his mundane San Fernando Valley pool cleaning job is actually a front for his real source of income. This is your final warning. This kid crying. Oh, oh no! no! Ah! Oh, God, help me! Oh, oh, Hunting and killing vampires as part of an international union of vampire hunters. He's gonna come after you with everything he's got. The contractor. The Contractor is a war action movie directed by Tariq Salih and stars Chris Pine. James Harper, played by Pine. Trust me, I am trying to help you. Oh, we're working for the president of the corporation. Get in the car! Is involuntarily discharged from the United States Army Special Forces, and so he joins a private contracting organization alongside his best friend Mike, played by Ben Foster and under the command of a fellow veteran, played by Kiefer Sutherland, in order to support his family. Overseas on a covert mission, Harper must evade those trying to kill him while making his way back home. They train us to run their errands, kill their enemies and kill each other. So I'm out to Black Adam. Black Adam is the latest movie from the DC Extended Universe. Directed by Jamie Colette Serra, Black Adam follows the titular hero. Nor do I surrender. Here we go. Played by Dwayne Johnson, as, as he's unleashed after almost 5,000 years of imprisonment. 
You didn't come here to seek justice. You came to exact revenge. Black Adam's brute tactics and way of justice soon catch the attention of the Justice Society of America, who in addition to stopping his rampage and teaching him how to be a hero, must team up with him to stop a force a lot more powerful than Adam. Uh, I think we're about to have some company. Stop the car. What? What? Stop! The Adam Project. The Adam Project reunited Ryan Reynolds and director Sean Levy in a classic time travel story. I mean, if this is happening to me, it already happened to you, right? Unless it works more like a multiverse where each room oh, creates an alternate time. A multiverse? My God, we watched too many movies. In which Reynolds crash lands in the past and must team up with his 12-year-old self in order to save the future. I'm not gonna explain my plan to a 12-year-old nerd with it. You don't have, do not have a plan. plan, but I know somebody who does. While the plot may not be groundbreaking, The Atom Project is a success because of its ability to not only deliver exhilarating moments of action that feature unique weapons and devices from the future, it's you. And I'll tell you what. You were the best part all along. But it also packs a lot of heart surrounding the concept of family, loss, and how to heal from that loss. The Red of Sage, getting you out of here. Why are you so handsome? My dad was a weatherman. The Lost City. The Lost City follows romance author Loretta Sage, an adultish but charming book cover model who must survive capture from an eccentric billionaire hell-bent on finding a lost treasure. Enjoyed your book about the Lost City, and I believe you're the one who can help me find its treasure. I have to respectfully decline. While the family may be a romance film at its core, its refusal to stay within one genre and adopt several is why it became a hit with audiences. <gasps> Alan, what are you doing here? We're here to save you. I'm certified CPR, I'm certified CrossFit. <laughs> I have snacks. Off to them! The most passionate action genre fans, Brad Pitt shines as a grizzled ex-military operative, taking down waves of enemies while at the same time being the source of much of the comedy. Romance novel. Jungles eat people like us. Hey, what is that? Get it off. Please. Please. Like, I can feel him sucking speaking, my speaking, soul. Ripper like a bandit. Yeah. 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 Feels like there's more. Holy there's mother of God. The Philippines wish to conquer us. They will not stop until the whole of Africa is theirs. We must fight back. The Woman King. While historical epics have seen a resurgence in popularity in recent years, there haven't been many big budget outings devoted to the history of the African continent. The Woman King looks set to fix this oversight, with Viola Davis starring as Naniska, the general of Dahomey's. No kingdom in all of Africa shares this privilege. Train hard, fight harder. We fear no one. An all-female defensive army, the Agoji. Bloody the freedom! We are the home! Are you in this vast multiverse? The multiverse. Stephen Strange, your reckoning is long overdue. Doctor Strange and the Multiverse of Madness. Sam Raimi of the original Spider-Man trilogy returned to Marvel and the superhero genre. The movie was somewhat divisive, but still earned a moderately positive critical reception overall, thanks to Raimi's distinctive brand of directing. What have you done? I never meant for this to happen. You cannot control everything. And horror theme prowess thankfully shining through. It's one of the more bolder MCU endeavors in recent years, and many fans will likely be wondering if Multiverse of Madness was Kevin Feige and co testing the waters of getting more inventive in the future. Break the rules and become a hero. I do it and I become the enemy. This doesn't seem fair. Doctor Strange and the Multiverse of Madness also leaves some intriguing hints for the future. Your friend is working for the U.S. government. Don't lie to me! Are those my golden guns? They're my golden guns. I don't want to kill you! You're the last person I want to kill! I love you! I love you! The unbearable weight of massive talent. 
The Unbearable Weight of Massive Talent is a black comedy action movie directed by Tom Gormican and written by him and Kevin Etten. It stars Nicolas Cage as a fictionalized version of himself in a story where he begrudgingly accepts a million dollar offer to attend the birthday of a billionaire superfan. Got another offer. It's a million bucks. It's to attend a wealthy gentleman's birthday party. The guy that owns this house, what's his name? Javi. Javi. Mr. Cage. Excuse me. Is Javi going to want me to, uh, you know? I'm not sure I understand. Look, it's Javi. I am Javi. Played by Pedro Pascal. When the party takes a wild turn, Cage is forced to become a version of some of his most iconic and beloved characters in order to extricate his wife and daughter from Javi, who also happens to be a notorious drug lord. I'm kicking the dog. What do you guys want? We're with Central Intelligence. Do you know who you're spending time with? One of the most ruthless men on the face of this planet. I need you. Uh, 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 uh. Let's go, D. You are all going to have the greatest story to tell at dinner tonight. Get out! Don't shoot a cop! Ambulance. Director Michael Bay doesn't have the best batting average, as critics believe that his Transformer movies have gotten worse and worse. But there's no denying that the director's films are absolute audience pleasers. Nobody makes popcorn flicks better than him. And with his newest release, Ambulance, it could be one of Bay's best movies. I could use some help. My wife needs this surgery. This is real life. How's that right? You put your life down on the line for this country? You leave your family, your home? How much do you need? 231. How about more? The film follows two bank robbers who carjack an ambulance to get away, only they hold the paramedic and a police officer in critical condition hostage. What do you want? Just gonna borrow it. I got a cop shot. I gotta get him to the hospital. I'm gonna need you to help us. Why don't you help us? We do hostages now. While it still has the typical grandiose shots of LA and flashy cars, it looks much more on the serious side of Bay's work. Danny, everybody knows how dangerous you are. Do you? You get your helos out of here now! Get you back home, little brother. I'm gonna get everybody home. RRR. The Telugu language RRR perhaps wasn't on many Westerners' radars when 22 actually began. But the fictionalized story of early 20th century revolutionary Aluri Sitara Maraju. <laughs> played by Ram Sharan and Komaram Bahim. <laughs> has transcended typical barriers between territories, earning praise from the likes of Edgar Wright, an adrenaline-fueled three-hour bombast. <laughs> RRR isn't for the faint of heart, but it has received worldwide acclaim after breaking records in its native India. Celebrated for its combination of action, music, and drama, for all RRR's ridiculous spectacle, it's the story of Raju and Bahim, garnering the most effusive praise, as endearing performances meet snappy scripting to glorious effects. There are places out there you can't find on any map. They're not gone. They're just lost. Uncharted. As if starring as Spider-Man in the MCU wasn't enough, Tom Holland seems to have another huge franchise on his hands with Uncharted. I was a kid. My brother Sam left one final clue. Based on the popular adventure game, Holland stars as Nathan Drake, a young man who teams up with the treasure hunter, Mark Wahlberg, to find a hidden fortune. Well, I dabble. I don't dabble. My family has been looking for this fortune for a very long time. So much blood. Well, I'm pretty sure he just threatened to kill me. But don't touch your ear like that. You look like an idiot. Though the younger take on the character didn't work for everyone, Holland's charm helped to make Drake a fun hero, while the movie itself was seen by many as a fun bit of popcorn entertainment. Oh, crap! <laughs> Considered one of the best movies about Vikings, 
is an epic revenge tale that follows Amon and his quest to seek revenge on his uncle for murdering his father and taking away his kingdom. Our kingdom was stolen from me. My heart knows only revenge. The third feature film from acclaimed director Robert Eggers, The Northman, may not have reached immense financial success, but did receive mostly praise from critics. Alexander Skarsgård's portrayal as Amleth perfectly captures the essence of a man at war, with both himself and those he considers enemies. Physically imposing, he is the embodiment of rage fueled by his devotion to revenge, and every slice of his sword or swing of his fist is nothing short of a visceral experience. The Gray Man, 2022. After stepping away from the MCU, Joe and Anthony Russo return to blockbuster filmmaking with The Gray Man. You hurt? I mean, my ego's a little bruised. The movie stars Ryan Gosling as a skilled CIA operative who uncovers dark secrets that send him on the run from a determined fellow agent who is hunting him, played by Chris Evans. Must be Lloyd. What gave it away? The trash stash. It just, it leans Lloyd. Easy. Gray Man is a star-studded action movie. It also looks to be a new hopeful franchise for Netflix, which could spin off into several other projects. Hulu's new Predator prequel, Prey, has been praised as the greatest entry the franchise has had to offer since the classic Arnold Schwarzenegger starring original. With a badass new protagonist, a terrifying new predator, and a wonderfully tense atmosphere. Whatever did this, I can carry it. The only regret about Prey is that fans didn't get to see it on the big screen. By setting the story in the Northern Great Plains in 1719, director Dan Trachtenberg managed to put a fresh spin on the familiar franchise formula. Black Panther Wakanda Forever is the sequel to Marvel's Black Panther. Directed by Ryan Coogler, the leaders of the Kingdom of Wakanda will have to fight to protect their nation from the invasion forces of the undersea nation of Talokan. King of an underwater civilization. I know what Kanda is an enemy. Led by Namor, this in the wake of the death of King T'Challa, Black Panther. Wakanda Forever will see the rise of a new Black Panther. Show them who we are. as well as the MC introduction of Riri Williams, Ironheart, who will later star in her own TV series. Everything, everywhere, all at once. The universe. He speaks of senseless things. Is so much bigger than you, and me. Than you realize. To say everything, everywhere, all at once took 2022 by storm may be selling it a bit short. While the concept of the multiverse was just recently explored in Spider-Man No Way Home, there was no one preparing audiences for this sheer insanity. Across the multiverse, I've seen thousands of Evelyns. You can access all their memories, their emotions, even their skills. Everything, everywhere, all at once embraces the ridiculous and uses it to weave a touching but also outrageous story of love and acceptance. One moment audiences will find themselves sobbing and the next they will be watching Michelle Yeoh battle her daughter through the infinite universe. Wow, that looks really good. But it's this perfect balance of heart and thrills that have made the movie a fan favorite. Who are you under there? I'm vengeance. The Batman. Matt Reeves' The Batman burst onto the screen in March of 2022, 
and for many fans, never left the spotlight. A much darker take on the caped crusader than previous iterations. Fear is a tool. But when that light hits the sky, it's not just a call. It's a warning. The Batman chronicles the titular character's mission to uncover the corruption in Gotham and stop the sadistic Riddler. In this version, the action is much more rooted in reality, resulting in a more visceral reaction to the action sequences. <laughs> Moviegoers won't just witness the roar of the Batmobile or every bone-breaking takedown. The seamless choreography and impeccable sound design will have them experiencing these intense moments vicariously. Good morning, aviators. This is your captain speaking. Today's exercise is dog fighting. Two versus one. You've got to be kidding. <laughs> what the hell? Top Gun Maverick. The highest grossing movie of 2022 so far, Top Gun Maverick has defied all expectations and has become this year's movie phenomenon. Taking place over 30 years after the original film, Top Gun Maverick resumes the story of Pete Maverick Mitchell. Jeez. Having any fun yet? Who was recruited to help train a new batch of pilots for a perilous mission. Already considered one of Tom Cruise's best films, Top Gun Maverick is a perfect blend of homage to the original. while still introducing new characters and obstacles to keep things fresh. But above all else, it utilizes upgraded movie technology to film the most exhilarating action sequences the world has ever seen. And that's it guys. If you like this video, kindly give it a thumbs up and make sure to like and subscribe to the channel. Thank you.